Hi guys, Paul Dexter here. Uh, well, this morning I've got a lot of updates for you. Uh, so many that I've got a teleprompter uh, flashing them at me so I don't forget any today. I interrupt this update to tell you this quick little story. Over Thanksgiving, my wife was saying how you, know, you, you, you love your work and it provides you, you know, a lot of fulfillment and so forth. And I was saying, well, of course I love my work and of course I love, I love JetBuild. I love um, doing what we're doing in the industry and helping uh, folks w with a solution. But it doesn't define me and it doesn't give me uh, fulfillment the way my family does. And she was going, well, yeah, okay, that's true. But still, I think you, you get more satisfaction from it and fulfillment from it than you think. And, but I started thinking about my past. A lot of you guys know that I was a, a musician, never became a household name, but you know, I got to uh, have uh, more success than I could have dreamt for and, and uh, more opportunity in touring the world with my music. So it was a great run. And then ultimately though, my record production uh, career was huge for me in, in, in a fulfillment uh, sense. And the, you know, I was nominated for a Grammy, lost, but, uh, but it, it was a lot of fulfillment and you know, a bit of a thrill. But it's really interesting because as I think of JetBuilt, uh, every week, two or three folks will reach out. For example, a guy uh, emailed last week, said, I've only been with JetBuilt for a few weeks now, uh, but I've already put more work through it and had more successes in it than I had in Dtools for three years. And uh, and that was just huge for us. That's exactly what we set out to do. And that's no disrespect to Dtools, which has a great product, but JetBuilt was designed to be fast, lean, efficient, and just simply um, put more projects through. Another guy this morning, company in New York, said, you know, we, We've just done the trial. Uh, thank you so much for making a thoughtful and well-designed application. Uh, let's get us signed up. It's a ridiculous uh, comparison to be sure, uh, a record production career to building jet build. But my, my point is, uh, my wife might be onto something. I get an incredible amount of uh, fulfillment from those types of stories, but no more uh, than I do my, uh, my wife and my family. And so uh, with that, let's get back to the update. Okay, so on to the teleprompter. A small thing is the, uh, the spec sheets you upload, uh, the PDF spec sheets you upload for items that you want to appear on proposals. Uh, remember that encrypted spec sheets uh, can't be processed by us. We system can't, can't manipulate an encrypted spec sheet for obvious reasons, and so it would hang up proposals. So anytime you upload a spec sheet, if it's encrypted, you will be notified of that. It will not upload, and you can um, uh, you know, manipulate it, give us a non-encrypted sheet. We now have a factor breakout on line item pages. So in your line item page, you see this option where you can now break out factors inside your rooms. Uh, that's helpful if you've got a factor for like, uh, you know, hardware or whatever it may be. Uh, the, the bottom line on the end, uh, you know, acceptance page is one thing, but uh, many of you want to show those factors room by room so people can understand how that money is being distributed. Also for enterprise users that use the margin worksheet, uh, the margin worksheet obviously is a very powerful tool to manipulate uh, your margins on equipment, labor, shipping, everything else, factors. Um, there's now an export button. So you can export that worksheet to Excel and uh, you can further manipulate it there uh, for those of you that love to manipulate uh, worksheets in Excel. So uh, enjoy that. <laughs> You're crazy. A manufacturer project discount. Okay, this is one, I think I mentioned that it was coming in the last update. Uh, if you get a discount, some extra love from a manufacturer, you can now put those discounts inside the project itself with this little function inside of project details. Those discounts will be reflected in that project only. Therefore, those prices will be lower and you will not get the red exclamation marks saying that the price is uh, higher in reality. Uh, another small feature is that we've changed uh, emptying the trash to be an admin privilege only. Uh, it makes sense and uh, honestly, I thought it was that way to begin with. Um, but we had a couple folks uh, empty the trash that were we're not authorized to do so and a project owner can throw their project into the trash uh, but it still has to be emptied by an admin um, if you want to delete it for good. Here's an interesting one. Bundles can now be expressed a couple of ways inside of JetBuilt. Uh, previously the option is you can show a bundle open or closed meaning you can show the name of the bundle and the price but you're going to hide all the items inside it uh, or you can just show it invisibly as a, uh, a set of line items. The bundle name is not there, it's just simply line items. Uh, both were very helpful, but we've now made it to where you can show the bundle name and then indented slightly all of its items. So you can really uh, show the bundle in a little bit more uh, finesse. Um, secondly, you can also choose whether or not to show pricing for those individual items. So you can show bundle name, price, all the items with or without price. 
So uh, there you go. Finally, we're building a few exciting things. One of them is a customer API. A lot of you guys have asked for this, uh, so it's been a long time coming. Uh, this will be an API that you guys can have access to to build integrations into some other platforms. I'll shoot another video out when that launches, as well as a, a host of other functionality that I will, I will not mention because then I'll be attaching dates to things, so they tell me to try not to do that. Uh, but we are making further enhancements to project management. Uh, we are gearing up for asset management, a very exciting tool I'll be telling you more about in these coming weeks. Um, and uh, asset management, not just for you tracking the uh, inventory or assets of a project while it's in your care, but then for your client to be able to manage those assets long term. So uh, there you go. That is all that's old and new with JetBuilt. Um, once again, thank you so much for using JetBuilt. Until next time, I'm Paul Dexter. Bye-bye.